The August 10th Entertainment and Music Memorabilia Auction is your chance to acquire some of the most sought-after pieces of memorabilia ever brought to auction. The most famous U.S. soldier of 1958 to 1960 was one Elvis A. Presley, previously and subsequently known as the King of Rock and Roll. These particular standard issue summer dress greens are truly one of a kind. We have many more rarities from the King of Rock and Roll in this auction as well. This award is a specially designed display of four discs. The album included two discs to signify four million copies of the album sold. This comes from the Stevens Weiss archive. Fresno's Celand Arena played host to Janis Joplin and the Boys for an April 19, 1968 concert that produced this wild and colorful poster. The poster is quite scarce and we've only seen the handbill before, which also can be very tough to find. Rick Griffin's classic Flying Eyeball poster for Jimi Hendrix's February 1968 gigs at the Fillmore Auditorium and Winterland has long been considered the apex of the rock poster as contemporary art. It's in near mint condition, signed and numbered by the late Rick Griffin. Beatles signed a Hard Day's Night train luncheon menu dated March 4, 1964. A wonderful set of signatures from the height of Beatlemania, plus an array of other autographs from the Fab Four throughout the auction. This is the lowest possible numbered album of the Beatles, also known as the White Album. Numbered A000001, also included is a very informative handwritten letter of authenticity dated April 2nd, 1989 from Clifford J. Yamasaki of Let It Be Records in San Francisco. Here we have a rare Best of the Beatles LP stereo acetates for an unreleased album from 1964. This is one of only two sets known extant, the other being in mono. This amazing rarity comes with a handwritten letter of authenticity. This super rare album cover of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band features 40 Capitol Records executives' faces rather than the original collage of celebrities. This version is much more scarce and is believed only 40 to 50 copies were ever produced. Recorded in Nashville, this was Dylan's foray into country music. It reached number three on the Billboard 200 album chart in the US and hit number one in the UK. This is the largest offering of Gold and Platinum Awards ever assembled by Heritage Auctions. G.I. Joe creator Don Levine's first handcrafted mock-up of the original 12-inch G.I. Joe figure from 1964. This prototype is constructed of hand-shaped and shaved plastic, handcrafted metal, and hand-sewn fabric. Simply the most prized collectible for fans of the hallowed G.I. Joe line. Fred Astaire's tap shoes from the 1941 Columbia Pictures musical, You'll Never Get Rich, which co-starred Rita Hayworth. John Wayne's leather vest from the beloved 1972 Warner Brothers classic, The Cowboys, worn throughout the entire film. A quite rare photograph of Marilyn Monroe, which appears to be an outtake from a now very famous photo shoot, which she signed in blue fountain pen ink to a Lou, who was headed off for the Korean War. The inscription reads, to Lou, when you come back, come around, Marilyn Monroe. A hero prop of a ripped apart Ted, the raunchy teddy bear from the Seth MacFarlane film starring Mark Wahlberg, Ted. A Marilyn Monroe gifted sterling silver money clip engraved with her signature, given to Harry Roberts, a sound man who worked on many of the star's films at 20th Century Fox. Remember, these are just a few of the items up for bid on August 10th. For more detailed descriptions and images, log on to ha.com slash 7081. Thank you and good luck.